So, are lazy people smarter? Are handsome guys jerks? Before we make such sweeping statements, let's be conscious of what Bergson's paradox is. Bergson's paradox is a counterintuitive idea that events that seem to be correlated are not. Joseph Bergson first illustrated this principle in 1946, with a case control study linking diabetes with cholecystitis amongst inpatients. Diagram 1 shows samples taken from the general public, and there seems to be no apparent relationship between the two diseases. However, the fact that Bergson's samples were taken from the inpatient hospital population indicates that a misleading positive association between the two conditions is already a foregone conclusion. With the help of a grid, we can illustrate why this is the case. Let's assume that we have a population size of 100, and that the two diseases are independent events. As such, the distribution of population would be even among the four categories, meaning that each category contains 25 people. Since the study was conducted amongst inpatients, the data for healthy individuals with low or zero diabetes and cholecystitis would, of course, not appear in the study. In other words, only the data for the other three categories would be reported in the study. If I were to ask what is the probability that a patient with low or zero diabetes gets diagnosed with cholecystitis, the answer would be 100%, because 25 is divided by 25. If I were to ask what is the probability that a diabetic patient gets diagnosed with cholecystitis, the answer would now be 50%, because 25 is divided by 50. There is, therefore, a false impression that diabetes is somehow protective against cholecystitis, which is not accurate. Bergson's paradox is often extended in various guises. Consider two supposedly dependent events, such as diligence and academic excellence. Logically speaking, there should be a positive relationship between these two variables. Since the events are dependent, there would be an uneven distribution of the population. The more diligent you are, the better is your academic results and vice versa. If you find yourself enrolled in a top school, it is unlikely you will meet classmates who are both lazy and have poor academic performance. Therefore, this group of people will not be visible to you. So, how likely is it to score good results for lazy students? The answer is 100% because 20 is divided by 20. In the same way, how likely is it to achieve good academic performance for hard-working students? The answer is a dismal 60% because 30 is divided by 50. Again, it gives a false impression that lazy people are smarter. In reality, Bergson's paradox is a particular kind of selection bias, caused by systematically observing some events more than others. So, seeing is believing, isn't it? Perhaps not, according to Bergson's paradox.